Uh, here's Draymond Green about Steph. He's talking about his head coach, Steve Kerr. Yeah, you know it's crazy? I can be 100% honest with you. I never understood or respected Steve Kerr's greatness as much as I have after this year. And I think a large part of it was my immaturity. I can just oh. continue to mature. Like, man, you got to remember, I've been with Steve Kerr since I was 24. I'm 33. Like, he's <laughs> literally watched my family. Like, my entire life is different from when Steve Kerr came into my life to where it is now. We've grown through all of that. And when I tell you, number one, like I've had to continue to get smarter. And, and as I've learned more about the game, like the more I learn about the game, the more Steve Kerr's brilliance is like so evident to me. Mm. I, you know, that, now that was love <laughs> to Kerr, though, Stoney. Come can't on. can't give respect to Steve Kerr without keeping himself out of it. Yeah. He can't he stop love, talking though, Stoney, about he, himself. And that is a point he has. He was 24 when he got with them. Yeah. I'll just tell you what, like I tell my kids. Oh, go ahead, Evan. Uh, well, it's just, it's kind of funny listening to him here. Like, he didn't understand the greatness of Steve Kerr during the four championships, but the last season that went down the toilet is the one that made him realize how great he is. Man. I, 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 you said it, not me. No. Huh? You no, said Draymond it, Evan, not me. Austin San Jose saying, what was wrong with the sound? I, I, I not, didn't say anything, Austin, I, so get off me. But I'm I, thinking it. But this is what we got to do. I'm thinking it. We got to come collectively. For the people that, that, that want Dre to just be accountable and to have some type of self-reflection, my dad told me this, Donnie Norm, we cannot be more upset at Draymond than his employer is. So if they have allowed this I disagree man to do with that, everything Norm. he's done, I'm going to let him know, how can we be over the top? You can be upset with Draymond what and I'm the organization. I got passionate today, no, but, but it went back down to, because where are we going with it? It's the Draymond Green movie. He you has, could have, he answers to no one. You could absolutely be mad at Draymond. If you're a Golden State Warrior fan and you think, what Draymond's been doing the last year oh. has been detrimental yeah. to winning. No doubt. You can be mad at Draymond. But of course I you be can. be more mad at the Warriors? You can be mad at both. You can have, But you can be mad at both. You can be mad at the Warriors for enabling, and you, sh you can be mad at Draymond Green for um, wow, walking man. on people. Wow. Yeah, this is... <laughs> Ant. Yeah, Ant, Will. I wonder what I'm mad at Draymond yeah. because he can't shoot the damn ball. Well. I hear you, man, but I'm. I, Let's go. I, I, real quick, I yeah. do wonder what Andre Iguodala thinks of that. I could sound. care less. See, See, I, when I beat honest him. to yeah. God, I, I, who cares yeah. what he thinks? No, nah, but I do. Why? Because he didn't have. He was no factor. He's not even on the team. Yeah, and I thought he, he means nothing in his utility belt. The wisdom. He's got nothing. The OG you know to who, the OG to set Draymond you know who straight. I, you know who I care more about? I care more about what Patrick Baldwin Jr. thinks well, no. about it well, than gone. Andre Iguodala. Man, I do think so. Get out of here, Andre Iguodala. He had no impact let me tell on you what, Dre. Let me tell you what Andre Iguodala is going to say. Oh, Dre's my dog, and I like Jordan yeah. Poole. And, but, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. 78 people I want to hear from before Andre Iguodala on this one. 77 who are relevant right now first. Man. Val and Redwood Shores. Hey, Val, what's going on? Hey, guys. Thanks hey, for having hey. me on. Long-time listener. Steiny, we must be soul brothers because every time I listen to your uh, perception <laughs> on sports, especially when we kind of zoom out, I really fall in line, and I hear you going back and forth with Goo, and I'm always saying to myself, oh, say this to them, say this to them. <laughs> so I appreciate you. Thank you. Uh... Hey, um, so I had a perspective a little over a year ago, and in my mind, this whole pool warrior contract thing worked out exactly how I thought, but I don't hear it talked about that much, not in print anywhere, not in media, and I'm wondering if you guys have already had a discussion on it. So the Warriors, in my opinion, never really thought Poole was a long-time contributor. They had to sign him to right. the contract because then they could treat him for a $30 million player, not for a $1 million player a year ago. They almost had to just write off that one year with him, knowing full well that they could get much better pieces or at least a $30 million placeholder, if nothing else. And that might be Chris Paul, a placeholder. Um, what's your guys' perspective yes. on that? I, I think you're absolutely right. And, you know, I can take it a step further, or we'll take it a step All further right, with, I with Draymond. Something. I mean, and, and i got to give credit to Evan. I mean, it's clear that the Warriors are going to try to keep Steph, Clay, and Draymond together uh, as, as long as they can. All right. Um, no shock to anyone. But if the Golden State Warriors don't do well this year, all bets are off. 
Like all bets are off. If if the Warriors go thirty eight and forty four right. and miss the playoffs, yeah. they could trade Draymond right, Green. Right. But at that, that point, it's you. over. But that's highly unlikely. I hear you. Because it's they, not. You know what? It it's not highly messy, unlikely. Stiney, it that's more it. likely than them winning a title. I think this. I think this team's more likely to be five hundred than win a title. Well, see, at, I, at this point, I'm not mad at you on that. Because who could right now say this stuff is is good for good for the team? We don't even know who's starting, but you know who wants to start or should be starting. Now you got to bow down to what's left for Chris Paul. His have, ego. That's the point. They're not going to bow down to Chris Paul. Ooh, we'll see. And Chris Paul, you coaching? That was the greatest thing I ever heard. Um, you was coaching? that like till his timing and cadence? I don't know. Um, you coaching? <laughs> she looked like, ah! that was a want to get away moment. Chris M. Away. Chris M. saying, Steiny, Steph might be listening. Okay, hey, Steph, get call your boy us. under control. Call, no, call I us. I don't need to hear from Steph. I, yeah. Did you want to tell him I'm perfect? Yeah, yes. Yeah, I know Yesterday everything. I said you were perfect. Well, that was Willard. <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> you, how'd, you like to be, how'd you like to be Steph Curry? Oh, my God. Who? I don't even want to get into it. Let's just put it this way. Oh, Steph. Steph loves Draymond. Steph wants Draymond. Steph oh, never thinks still, Draymond does anything wrong. Are you going Steph, here da, 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 da. Now. Yeah, okay. Slow How down do you know now. that? How do you know that? Because he's here for 4-400. Four, four okay. And Let me uh, ask you a question. He buffed me ask Jordan you a Poole in front of all of us in the playoff game. Let me ask you this. What if Joe Lacob went to st- st- uh, Steph Curry after the season and said, yo, you know our money situation. We got it. Da, 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 da. Yeah. We got, we got some really tough decisions to make. I'm with Steph's you. like, yeah, I know. All right, well, you know, one of them, we might be able to move Jordan Poole. The other one, we may be able to, you know, let Trey walk, move Kaminga in there, do that. Or we could do this. What if Steph just said, it's all good. Whatever whatever you think's best, do it. And it just happened to trade Poole that they might have been willing to come off Draymond. Curry said, do what you got to do. Everybody says, oh, we got oh, Draymond, please. We need Draymond, Draymond, Draymond. That's how we don't know now, that. Man, no, we don't know that. There's law. Did you see? I'm what just, if Steph okay. said, right. you're the front office, right. Mike okay. Dunleavy. Yeah. This is your first move. For you. I'm not telling you okay. what to do. All right. But what about the match? The match was just clay. You know what was on display. It was brotherhood. And it wasn't just Clay and Steph. It was Dre who was supporting their brothers. And on the eve you of his contract. You think Steph Curry said, don't ever trade Draymond Green as long as I'm a Golden State Warrior? I, I don't believe he would ever do that. Okay, but can you give me something remote almost close to that? No. Because he's a lifer. It's possible. If Steph wants him to be a lifer. And I think this 4-400. Right. right, but Steph may not out. have a preference. Yeah. I, I would bet that he does. Miss me, miss me with, with Steph. Dre forever coming out of Steph's mouth like he's untouchable. Miss me with acting like that's 100% right. Mm. Like, you miss me, 91, miss me with, miss me with Steph will ride with Draymond, ride or die, right. into the sunset, nothing else. Now, I don't, I don't well, right necessarily now, gotta, believe that. This new contract has shown me, I feel like Steiny. It's closer to that than it's ever been. Again, what if Joe Lacob no, but you said to Steph Curry, record, though. what if Joe Lacob Finish. said to Steph Curry, we got to do some things here. They're going to be painful. We got a couple options on the table. One would involve Draymond. One would involve trading Jordan Poole. Right. One would be this moving up. In the, and Steph simply said, listen, man. Just you're the GM. Do it. I trust you. What? That is every bit as believable as Steph Curry saying, "Do not trade George. Do not trade uh, Draymond Green, and do not keep Jordan Poole." I have. I'll you tell must you what, not do that. I love you to death. I think it's the former and, more and, than anything. Yeah, no doubt. And that's why we. I love what we do because we'll never be proven right. Well, I guess we could if something were to jump off that way. But, Stoney, I'll say this to what you just brought up. I really believe it's – it's if, if I like, I could go in there with Matt. I don't have any, uh, any um, you know, special equity with him to wear, but I could tell him it's Stoney or die. I don't want to work with anybody but Stoney. I think that would mean something to that man. Now, that doesn't mean that man that's etched in stone. There's no way to me Steph Curry – has not let the Joe Lacob know how much Dre means to him on the court and off. 
And I believe, I know people are going to throw stuff at well, me. That, would that, that four assume. for 100, two of that, two for 50 of that was because they know Steph wanted him here. That, that that's just me. I, I I'm not buying all that. I, I love to see I'm just what the Dibs think when they come in. I'm not. Evan, what that. do you think? <laughs> I mean, you're the... See, I believe Steph Curry real, and you can. Yeah. Jump, I believe Steph Curry is uh, rock true. solid and consistent. We were talking about Steph Curry as a leader. We don't think he's a vocal leader. We don't think he's aggressive. That's why I refuse to believe that he plays and leads and is. A certain way on the court, but off the court, he's going to actually go up to Joe Lacob or in the conversations with Joe Lacob, basically say, you know, if Dre's not here, I may as well not be here. But didn't you remember him saying Dre for three more years? He said a million things. Yeah, like but that. yeah, but I mean, the, that, that, the, that, that the, I dismiss the, on the match. Yeah, but Evan, I dismiss that. Though. I, I mean, that's, that's a team you think man. if we put this poll up, don't you think a lot of Dub Nation would think Curry is? They know how much he means to Steph. It's, he does mean a lot to Steph, but that doesn't mean Steph would say, would dictate, uh, this I, is I, how I, I want to dictate yeah. what we do. I, I firmly, like, to me, believe it or not, it actually is more believable that Steph Curry would say, hey, Joe and, and Mike, I know, like, look, I hear everything, I know everything. Let me ask you this. Do you think, do you think before this offseason started, Steph Curry had a handle on just how tough this situation is with the salary cap, luxury tax, and signing guys. No doubt. Okay, no doubt. No doubt about it. Yeah, I mean, he knows. He he knew, he knows it's a yeah, tough situation. It affects him I'm getting gonna, at number I'm five. I'm going to get to you. Okay. Get to you. <laughs> so, he knows. And so, I guarantee he's talked to Lacob, and they've been like, we can do this, we can do that. And Curry probably said, what we all say. Boy, if we lose Draymond, how are we going to get it done? You know, Jonathan's going to be good. But, eh, well, that's we don't really want to do that, Man. but... But if we can't do, you know, there's no, there's, I think it's very likely Steph Curry's the kind of guy who says, man, I, I, no, I know we are in a tough spot. So I trust you guys who have won four titles. I trust you guys. Please don't ask me to make the decision. I'm a player. Yeah. I trust you guys. I, okay, and but Evan, you, before you, you I don't go, have to I just tell you how I feel. Steph's love for Dre he and Clay. He doesn't have to explain yeah, but, how much he loves yeah, Dre. No, they I, know. Yeah, I didn't say a box of chocolates, but Stani, they know. You tell. They know who Steph's rocking with. 